Welcome to Summer Torah. This week's Parsha is Parsha Korach. Korach is a story of a man who was somewhat jealous of Moshe and Aaron. He was their cousin, and he felt that it wasn't fair that Moshe was the leader, and Aaron became the Kohen Gadol, and, and there was a little bit of too much of a connection, and not enough of everybody being involved. And therefore he felt that he should have been the Kohen Gadol instead. He gathered 250 people and their families, and they marched up to Moshe and said, It's not fair. We don't need a Kohen Gadol. It's not fair that you made your brother the Kohen Gadol. I would like to be Kohen Gadol. Or even better yet, we don't need one because everybody, all the Jewish people are holy. To which Moshe responded and said, Of course, Hashem told me to do this. This is what we're supposed to do. And they said, No, it's not possible. How could Hashem pick you and your brother and not spread, spread out the Kedush amongst everybody? And ultimately Moshe said, Why don't we have a contest? Aaron will bring Ketoret as a Karban, and your people will bring Ketoret as a Karban, and we'll see what happens. And whichever one Hashem chooses, that's the one who's supposed to be the leader. So, they agreed. The next day, Aaron brought his Ketoret, the 250 people brought their Ketoret, and as the Torah tells us, the ground opened up and swallowed 250 people and accepted Aaron's Karban. Immediately after that, Hashem tells Moshe, tell Elazar the Kohen, Aaron's grandson, tell Elazar to gather all of the frying pans, all of the things that were used to bring this carbon of the 250 people who were wrong, and take those to be part of the Mishkan to make a cover for the, for the Mizbeach. The question is, why use these things which were used in such a bad way? They were used to challenge Moshe and Aaron. Why were they then used as part of the Mishkan? What was their redeeming factor? The answer is interesting and fascinating. Yes, these 250 people, they did not bring a carbon the way that they were supposed to. But they still did do avodah, they still served Hashem. And because they served Hashem, the things they used to serve Hashem were kadosh, were holy. You know, when we daven every single day, maybe our davening is not as wonderful during the summer as it is in school. Maybe our tefill is a little bit less at, uh, you know, holy. Maybe it's a little bit more distracted. Maybe our tefill is not as special as it is. Maybe it's more special. But even though it may not be as perfect, it's still avodah to Hashem. And we should take this message from Korach and his people, that even if we do something for the wrong reason, it still has Kedusha. We can still improve on it. We can do our actions in a better way next time. Shabbat Shalom.